As the early morning sun casts its golden light across the vast expanses of agricultural fields, I find myself immersed in the fascinating journey of sugar production. Today, we're diving deep into a world where nature's gifts and cutting-edge technology come together to create one of the most ubiquitous ingredients in our daily lives, sugar. Standing amidst the rustling sugarcane fields of Queensland, Australia, I can almost hear the rhythmic hum of machinery in the distance, a sound that marks the beginning of a meticulous process that transforms towering stalks and humble beets into the sparkling white crystals. We know so well. The story begins here, in this fertile, well-drained soil, chosen with care to nurture sugarcane to its fullest potential. Farmers rely on a combination of nature's bounty and human ingenuity to ensure that every stalk grows tall and strong. Modern soil monitoring devices precisely measure moisture levels, guaranteeing that each plant receives just the right amount of water. This is no accident. It's a delicate dance of irrigation, rainfall, and technology, where even the slightest imbalance can affect the outcome of the harvest. The soil beneath my feet is alive, teeming with nutrients that are carefully managed to support the two-year growth cycle of sugarcane. From the initial planting to the moment the cane matures, every step is a testament to the synergy between human innovation and the natural world. As the cane ripens, the fields transform into a sea of green, a sight that is both humbling and exhilarating. Harvest season in Queensland stretches from June to December, a period marked by intense activity and precise coordination. In the past, the fields would have been set ablaze to remove the leaves, a traditional practice that had its merits, but also its drawbacks. Today, the scene is entirely different. Modern harvesting machines glide effortlessly through the rows, their blades slicing through the mature stalks with remarkable precision. These machines not only enhance efficiency, but also contribute to environmental sustainability. By leaving the leaves on the field, they create a natural mulch that retains soil moisture and enriches the land for future crops. Watching these machines in action is like witnessing a symphony of engineering. Every movement choreographed to maximize output while minimizing waste. Once the cane is cut, it's swiftly loaded onto transport trucks and taken to the mill. The journey from field to factory is a race against time. The fresher the cane, the higher the yield of sugar. At the mill, the transformation begins in earnest. The raw stalks are washed thoroughly under powerful jets of water, stripping away dirt and debris. As I follow the process, the air fills with the sweet, earthy aroma of crushed cane. The stalks are fed into grinders that extract every last drop of juice, leaving behind fibrous remnants known as bagasse. Even this byproduct has a role to play, often used as a renewable energy source to power the mill's operations. It's a closed loop system that exemplifies efficiency and sustainability. The extracted juice undergoes a series of treatments to refine it into the syrup that will eventually crystallize into sugar. Sulfur dioxide gas is introduced to preserve the juice and inhibit microbial growth, while lime powder adjusts the pH and clarifies the liquid. The impurities are removed, and the remaining sludge is repurposed as fertilizer, 
completing the cycle of renewal. The juice is then boiled in towering evaporators, reducing its water content and concentrating the sugars. It's an awe-inspiring sight, giant vats bubbling and steaming as the liquid undergoes its transformation. Finally, the syrup enters a crystallization tank, where seed crystals are added to encourage the formation of sugar crystals. These crystals are spun in a centrifuge to separate them from the uncrystallized syrup, resulting in raw sugar with a purity of 97 to 99 percent. After drying and packaging, the sugar is ready for the market, its journey from field to table complete. But this is only half the story. As the cane fields of Queensland wind down for the season, the sugar beet farms of the United States are just beginning their annual cycle. Unlike sugarcane, which thrives in tropical climates, sugar beets prefer the temperate zones of the Northern Hemisphere. Here, the process starts in early spring, as the fields awaken from their winter slumber. Farmers, armed with data from soil tests and crop consultants, select the best beet varieties for their specific locations. Every detail is considered, from nutrient balance to planting density. The soil is carefully prepared, enriched with potassium, nitrogen, and phosphorus to support the beet's growth. As the seeds are sown, the fields take on a new life. Sugar beets are demanding crops, requiring precise conditions to thrive. They draw moisture and nutrients from deep within the soil, their long tap roots anchoring them firmly in place. Above ground, their broad green leaves capture sunlight converting carbon dioxide and water into sucrose through photosynthesis. This natural process is nothing short of miraculous, a reminder of the intricate mechanisms that sustain life on Earth. By the time the beets are ready for harvest in autumn, their roots are rich with sugar, storing up to 20% of their body weight in sucrose. Harvesting sugar beets is an equally meticulous endeavor. High-tech harvesters move methodically through the fields, lifting the beets from the ground with minimal damage. The beets are then transported to large warehouses where they await processing. The factories that handle these beets are marvels of automation and efficiency. Each batch is washed, sliced, and fed into extraction towers that release the sugar trapped within the plant cells. The raw juice, containing about 18% sugar, is filtered and clarified, undergoing multiple stages of refinement to remove impurities. The process mirrors that of sugarcane, culminating in crystallization and centrifugation to produce pure white sugar granules. As I walk through the factory, I'm struck by the scale of the operation. Conveyor belts hum with activity, transporting beets and sugar through various stages of production. Steam rises from the evaporators, mingling with the sweet aroma of syrup. Every step is a blend of human ingenuity and natural processes, a testament to the resilience and adaptability of the agricultural industry. The final product, stored in gleaming silos, represents the culmination of months of hard work and careful planning. Reflecting on this journey, I'm reminded of the interconnectedness of our world. From the sunlit fields of Queensland to the temperate farms of the United States, 
the production of sugar is a global endeavor that relies on the dedication of countless individuals. Farmers, scientists, engineers, and factory workers all play a role in bringing this essential ingredient to our tables. It's a process steeped in tradition yet driven by innovation, a delicate balance of old and new. As I leave the factory, I carry with me a newfound appreciation for the effort and expertise that go into every grain of sugar. It's more than just a sweetener, it's a symbol of human ingenuity and the enduring partnership between technology and nature. And as the sun sets over the fields, casting a warm glow over the landscape, I'm reminded that every journey, no matter how complex, begins with a single step.